When you're asked to solve a quadratic equation, what that means is you're trying to find what x values make that equation true. So one way many students choose to go about this is by using factoring techniques. Before we get into that though, it's important to think about some stuff you already know about zero. There's an pro important property we have about zero that's called the zero product property. The zero product property says that if a times b is zero, then either a equals zero or b equals zero. And that makes sense, like product means multiplying. And if you have two numbers multiplied together and your answer is zero, then one of those numbers has to be zero. It's the same idea with quadratic equations. Let me show you what I mean. Let's just say I have the equation that looks like this. Y is equal to x plus four times x plus one. I factored it, that was my factored form. And let's just say instead of y right there, I stuck a zero, either because I was trying to solve or because I was trying to find the x-intercepts. Now think about the zero product property. I have this binomial multiplied by that binomial. I have a product and the answer is zero. What that tells me is that x plus four equals zero or x plus one equals zero. It's like this guy's a, that guy's b. If a times b is zero, then either a equals zero or b equals zero. This is how I solve for x. Subtract four from both sides and I'm gonna get my solutions. x equals negative four or x equals negative one. This is how you're gonna go about solving quadratic equations by factoring. First, get it into factored form set it equal to zero, and then separate your two factors, make each factor equal to zero, and solve for x. This is really useful when you're trying to find the x-intercepts when you're graphing a parabola.